Today's show is brought to you by Circles and by Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Think way, way back to a time when I said, I may shoot an upcoming video on how to make this adjustable compass. Ah, it seems like it was just last Friday. Well, it just so happens that I have a big project planned for next week in which I need to make a large circle. So the future is now. And I want to thank Jay Kopensky for sending me this compass and inspiring me to make my own and share it with you. The only trick to making this is to create this sliding dovetail channel that makes it adjustable. One way to do that is to use a dovetail bit on your router, but I'm gonna try a method on my table saw that is safe and easy and uses an oversized board. This is a three and a half inch wide piece of poplar. I'm gonna start by making the sliding runner. To do that, I'm gonna cut a slot along the edge of this board about an inch deep and about half the thickness of the board. Here's the setup I'm using. I've got my zero clearance insert plate in my saw. I've got my fence moved over to half the thickness of this board, and I've got a feather board here which will press the board against the fence. I don't normally put a feather board on the outfeed side of the blade, but in this case, I think it'll help keep the wood from coming out. Making that slot is really the trickiest cut of this whole project. To make my dovetails, I'm setting my blade to 15 degrees. I've lowered the blade back down and I can move my fence over. I've drawn a couple lines here to indicate where I'm gonna make these cuts. For the next cut, I need to spin the board around this way. And this is also one of the rare occasions when it makes more sense to have my rip fence on the left side of the blade. And now I can cut the channel to fit the size of this runner. It's a lot easier to do it that way rather than cut the channel first and try to cut the runner down to size. With my blade still set at that 15 degree angle, I can lower it down to where it's the same height as my runner. and flip it around and adjust my fence. Now I can straighten out my blade and cut out the inside of that channel. Quick show of hands, who saw what I did wrong with those cuts? <laughs> yeah, I made those bevels the wrong way. Uh, so yeah, that kind of a sliding dovetail doesn't exactly work very well. <laughs> so I think I got enough wood over on this side that I can make the correct dovetail. Well, I discovered on my second time around that I don't need to straighten that blade back out to gouge out that groove. And that's the way it's supposed to fit. <laughs> My incompetence saving you time and money. Now, assuming you don't make the same mistake I made, you'll have plenty of extra wood to rip this down to size. Okay, that's better. That fits into that channel just fine. Now again, if you didn't make that same mistake I made, you'll have plenty of extra wood here to make this sliding locking mechanism. <laughs> but I don't have any more poplar, but I do have a piece of cherry that's gonna work out fine. And you know what that means? Extra fancy. It's a three quarter inch thick piece of cherry that I'm going to saddle over the compass. I need to cut out a notch about like this. I'm gonna use my crosscut sled to make that notch and I'll raise the blade up the same height as the compass bar. That seems like a pretty good fit. It's got a little bit of play in it. It's not too tight. I'll cut a thin strip off the remainder of that board. And I'll glue these two pieces together. This hole is slightly smaller than a quarter inch diameter. I picked up this quarter inch diameter thumb screw that I'll just twist into that hole. This will just cut its own inside threads. On one side of the channel, I'm drilling a hole for the pencil. I 
I've discovered I can't drill a hole that's a perfect size for all pencils. Even though they look alike, some slide through really easily and other types of pencils have a more snug fit. So what I want to do is put a couple of set screws on each side. These are half inch wood screws. I'm drilling a pilot hole for the nail so it won't split this runner. It's important to note that this runner is slightly higher than the sides of the channel. So when this piece goes on, it'll clamp down and grab that. So all you need to do is drop a pencil into that hole and tighten up these set screws. That holds it into place. Then I can put this on and slide the rail into that channel. Then I'll just tighten that down to whatever diameter I need. If I need a circle that's smaller than that, all I need to do is flip this around. I want to thank Jay Kopansky one more time for sending me his shop made compass and inspiring me to build this one. And I want to take a moment to thank all of you who subscribe to my YouTube channel. This week I hit a milestone, a quarter of a million subscribers to Woodworking for Mere Mortals. That just is mind boggling to me because I remember when I hit my first 1000 subscribers and I think I probably said the same thing then that I was just blown away by that fact. So thank you all uh, for making Woodworking for Mere Mortals a success. I really can't do it without you and all of your support. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and I hope you subscribe too. I have new woodworking videos every Friday on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.